Honestly, like I haven't even been able to say anything on social media because my blood is boiling. I don't know what to say. I'm just feeling sick, you know, to the pit of my stomach. I, I believe Tapsi said it that uh, you know, if, if the audience comes and watches our solo films as much as they go and watch a male superstar, right. we can also charge that much, of you know, course. because our returns will be as much. But the fact is that we don't have that kind of an audience. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Not only because it's. Something that you just wouldn't expect. Who would have thought of making Munni Bandham into Munna Bandham? You know, it's such a unique idea in itself. Just like Chulbul Pandey is incomplete without his Rajju, Dabang is incomplete without Sonakshi Sinha. You look gorgeous in Thank the trailer. Thank you. And we can't wait to watch the movie, of course. <laughs> you know, Dabang was where you started. Since then, a lot of things have changed. Yeah. And now it's back to the roots. <laughs> But the one thing which has not. like which has actually changed for the better is that you have evolved and how as an actor right but what have you seen evolving from dabang to dabang 3 now i think personally i'm not the same person i was when i started off doing the film i used to be very quiet quiet <laughs> so not say much but uh, over the years i just feel with the kind of experience i've got the kind of films i've done the work i've done the people that i've worked with i've just learned so much and i feel like i'm a completely new different person than from what i started So um, it's been an amazing journey. I can't believe it's been nine years and we're on the third uh, part of part. the franchise. Mm -hmm. um, it's been surreal. Honestly, it's like going back to home for me, for home base actually, and um, I'll always cherish it because it's, it's what it's made me who I am today. Yeah. yeah. You know, Prabhu Deva, you mentioned, and yeah. uh, we have seen you yeah. uh, dancing with him earlier, and we have seen you in Rowdy yeah. Rathod. How was this reunion on a different set altogether? It was fantastic. I think Prabhu sir was the best suited for this kind of film. I think uh, it's full-on masala, full-on action, color, vibrance. You know, um, that's so Prabhu sir's style of filmmaking. And that is also something which we enjoy seeing you doing yeah. as well. You know, that's and like <laughs> yeah. And for me to come back to that was also yes. amazing. Uh, I was just telling someone that I'm doing a song like you, Karke. After so I was coming to that, <laughs> I can just you know completely let go of myself and just be free and dance like a crazy person. Um, I really enjoyed doing that. The film is completed. It looks amazing. Munna Badnam yeah. hai release yeah. ho chuka hai. People are loving it. Yeah. What is your reaction to the song? Did you like it as well? I love it. Is it better than Munni though? I love it. I think it's fantastic. Not only because it's something that you just wouldn't expect who would have thought of making munni bandham into munna bandham you know it's such a unique idea in itself and then of course this prabhu sir and salman doing this jugal bandi within the song which we've not seen them do since what oh, yes yes i think it's a great song as well very entertaining now speaking about you know recently salman ne bhi press conference pe bola ki people are just creating controversy for the heck of yeah, it right yeah. what is your take on it do you think people have become too sensitive towards everything that is yeah yeah on? i agree this one thing being sensitive and mare paas to pehle koi nahi aata chup chap se agar aapko problem hai pehle ja ke jisse problem hai unko batao na seedhe aap media mein kyun ja rahe ho the intention very clear right there and then and honestly right. never is it on our agenda to hurt anybody's sentiments you know so uh, moving ahead of you know uh, the bang uh, one film which is very special to me is lutera do you miss doing that kind of movies uh, or do you feel that you know because i personally feel that as an actor the kind of versatility that you have shown is very rare not many people from this generation show that kind of versatility yet yet, yeah. yet i feel that a lot of people don't give you enough credit for it do you feel do you do, do you feel the same tum bolo because lutera is one one of the examples where i feel that you were phenomenal thank you so much you know i, I really love hearing that because uh, uh it was really a, a gem which i think got lost in you know the time that it came if in i i i can tell you that that if it really if it released today it i would also have done think so i just feel like it was way ahead of its time at that point in time uh and if it would have released today it would have been so much more appreciated you know uh but it's okay the kind of appreciation i get for it till date is uh, something else and i and i love that but um i like being that heroine you know who can fit into any kind of cinema yeah. whether it's a dabang or a rowdy rathor or it's a lutera or if it's a akira and, and and i want to do everything i want to do all sorts of work all sorts of cinema i i don't see any differentiation my job is to act i am an actor 
uh, you put me in any kind of film, I should be able to do that. You know, recently, um, a lot of actresses, including Katrina's uh, remark I read recently about pay parity mm -hmm. in the industry. What is your take on it? Yeah, we have a long way to go. Even even for the movies that are held by women, and I've been a part of some of them. You know, where is the pay structure as close to what a male superstar would get? Uh, you know, but honestly, uh, that also depends a lot on the audience. Like, uh, I, I believe Tapsi said it that uh, you know, if, if the audience comes and watches our solo films as much as they go and watch a male superstars. We can also charge that much, you know, because our returns will be as much. But the fact is that we don't have that kind of an audience that that a male superstar has. So, right. Um, I mean, as much as we would love it, and as much as we talk about equality and all that, uh, we still have a very long way to go. You know, one another thing which uh, recently you must have heard about the Priyanka Reddy rape case, right? And Jaya Bachchan in the Parliament today said that she is in for uh, the rapist being lynched, like she's okay with that. What is your thought process on it? Because a lot of people on social media today are divided over capital punishment. Again, there are two sides to a coin. I mean, it's it's really sad that, you know, today we live in a country where this keeps happening repeatedly. You know, when when is it going to stop? And honestly, like, I haven't even been able to say anything on social media because my blood is boiling. I don't know what to say. I'm just feeling sick you know, to the pit of my stomach. How do you explain these things? And there has to be a punishment, especially when stuff like that is proved, where you have the culprit. Uh, but again, the other side is that there are a lot of fake cases also, and which is why they're not, you know, giving the capital punishment or whatever. But when things like this happen, it really makes your blood boil. I mean, today, we, I think we live in a country where we don't even want to be India's daughters anymore because we are not protected enough. And uh, I'm sorry, it's it's um, about time that, you know, we put an end to this uh, as a country, as a government, as a society, I think. Uh, we are failing our own, own daughters. daughters. That's so true. Thank you so much, Sanakshi, for talking to us. And go watch Tabang on December 20. Uh, the original Dabang girl will be there to enthrall <laughs> us all. Uh, thank you so much, Sanakshi, for talking to much. us. If you like this video, please share, like and subscribe to Pinkvilla.